I'm so sorry. You know, but the kids, they cut class and they make out in their cars. But, you know, you're not kids. Not that you're old. But even if you were kids, I mean, you weren't making out, you know, because you're divorced and everything. Okay, okay, okay Marcy, it's okay. okay. We know it's, it's a misunderstanding on your part. Yeah, Nora and I would not be hanging out in the parking lot of the high school making out, you know? Not here, not anywhere. Yeah, right? I know. So what were you doing? Uh, we were worried about Matthew, his first day of school. Yeah, and he's in a wheelchair, you know, dealing with other kids. And what they're going to say. And we were being overprotected. You know, heli helicopter mom, that's yeah. me. I'm going to hover, hover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everything's just fine. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it's not. Do you know how risky it was coming here? I like risky, and I had to see you. I wanted to see you, too. I mean, it's not like we're doing anything wrong. I mean, we're both single. Mm -hmm. Our being together, it, it's not hurting anyone. Except maybe you, if my sister finds out, she might break your neck. <laughs> a better mind than yours. It's a lot cuter. Nobody's called me cute in such a long time. Except maybe my dad. How are uh, Rex and Gigi progressing? Uh, until Shane doesn't need Gigi's sister as a donor anymore. The sister has to think that she has a shot with Rex, and that means you have to be in the air with Gigi, and God, what a... Bitch. <sighs> it's got to work out for Rex and Gigi. I don't like sneaking around. I want to be with you all the time. Me too. But until we can, better make good use of the time we have. Jesse! Oh, God, Dorian, what do you want? I want to know what you intend to do about Todd stealing Blair's children. You had no right to do that. It was a personal call. I'm a pedophile. What's going on, Dad? Jack, uh, why don't you take Sam to the den? It's that way, and you're going to recognize it by the 50-inch plasma TV hanging on the wall. Come on, Sam. First of all, Skylar is not a pedophile. I know. He's a saint. I'm just glad Cole tipped me off about him. And by the way, I'm not blaming you, OK? I know that he, he took advantage of you. He didn't do anything to me. He's not like you. He doesn't hurt every woman he goes near. I see you've been talking to your Aunt Dorian and your mother. No, I have eyes. Me, Mom, Marty, Taya. What about Skylar's mother? She ended up killing herself because you were blackmailing her. She and Hope might actually be alive if it wasn't for your little plan that you made up. Now Hope is dead and... and Cole is... Cole is what? knocked up my daughter, you son of a bitch. And if that wasn't bad enough, her baby died. You couldn't even do that right, could you? No! That was you. It's no, because no. of you. It was you, Cole. It's always you. I mean, let's face it. You are one first-class loser. For once, I agree with Todd. Mom? Don't call me that. What? I'm embarrassed to be known as your mother. Why do you think I left town? You said that John was in trouble and, and you were in danger. That's what I told you. But the truth is, I had to get away from my junkie son. Oh, gosh, I wish I could call Cole. I hate having to leave him. I know, but Bo will be checking cell phone records. Right. You know, whoever has been signing in to visit Powell must know that he'd recognize your name. Well, what do we do? Go back to sit well and question that Mrs. Kwan? She's probably on to us by now. I don't know. I hit the internet. I saw it while I was there. I could go. Bo's already linked your disappearance to me. There's probably an APB out on both of us. Well, what are we supposed to do then? The only two people that can help us understand who forged my signature are, are Powell and that Mrs. Kwan. And Powell's in no state of mind to tell us. 
There may be one other person that knows something. What happened to Matthew? Is he hurt? No, no. I mean, not physically, anyway. There was this kid in his class. He seems to have it out for Matthew, and he, he just said some really awful things to him. To a kid in a wheelchair? Who's the kid? Look, I handled it today, and I'm going to keep an eye out, OK? How does this happen? I mean, who raises a kid that would say horrible things to a kid in a wheelchair? You know, we sent him back to school too soon. No, we sent him to the wrong school. We should get him to another school where there are nice kids. No, no, you can't do that. Look, if my dad sent me to a new school every time someone teased me, I would have had a closet full of ugly gym uniforms. Look, some kids, they're just always going to find someone to tease. And it doesn't matter whether they're fat or they stutter or they're doing drugs or they don't want to do drugs or they're in a wheelchair. It's just life. It's my son's life. Yes. So why are you two trying to live it for him? You're going to risk making a phone call? Prepaid phone. They still can't trace it? Only if I connect to a line the police have a tap on. And I don't think they're on to the number I'm calling. Who are you calling? Hopefully someone that can give us a lead. I'll take you down to Mr. Lord's room as soon as you've logged in. It's funny, the register doesn't seem to be in here. It must have been just filed. Oh, well, I guess I'll just start a new page. I'm glad I have no memory of the boy you used to be. It would make it even harder to look at what you've turned into. I'm sorry. I should think so. After putting Matthew in a wheelchair and nearly killing yourself, you just weren't sorry enough to stop using. I wanted to. But you couldn't. Because of me, right? No. That's what you told me the first time I found the drugs in your room. You told me it was my fault that you couldn't handle things. Have you ever stopped to think about what I've had to handle? An accident that nearly killed me, Todd, and now this? Look at you. You're a liar. You're a thief. What a waste. I didn't mean to disappoint you. Or, or blame you or lie to you. I love you. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? Tell you that I love you? After what you've done? How could you ever expect me to love you back? Cole is suffering right now because of you. What you did to his mom, don't forget, Hope was also his child, too. Star, I swear to you, I never meant for anything bad to happen to that baby. I was just trying to help you. Maybe I, I went about it the wrong way. I don't know. You think? God, you could be so twisted. You still don't think that you did anything wrong? Because it was all for me. Planning on stealing my baby. You beating up Cole when you found us in bed, that was all for me. Uh, right. Yes, it was. No. It was about you. You never, ever think about me. It is always about you. Everything you do is for yourself. Star, I love you. You don't know what love is. You took something so wonderful and beautiful from me, and you made it ugly. You made me do the worst thing that I could have ever done.